Oh man. What is up guys? Coach Joe, Garage de la Swole. It's been a minute, but I'll explain. There's a lot that's gone on in the last few days. All really great stuff. So we're gonna get into it. Uh, but first, I got an order from Grip Genie with some goodies that I wanna show you, and that's kind of what I'm gonna play around with today. And also, yes, we'll be at the Arnold. The Arnold is next week. I leave on a Wednesday, I get there Wednesday, and I'm there until Monday. So really stoked to meet you guys at the Arnold. We'll be at the Grip Genie booth, and I'll be floating around, hanging out with people, getting some training in at different places. So if you see me, come say hi, shake my hand, and we'll have a good time. Let's first go over the stuff I got from Grip Genie, baby. Dog, it is cold as bauge in this garage right now. We had a snowstorm, I guess, last week. Uh, so it's cold. It's cold. I ain't gonna lie. All right, but what did I get from Grip Genie? Super pumped. And this is very timely because the 18th was my birthday. So uh, this actually arrived on my birthday, which was just... Very coincidental, but it was a great gift. So, I got one of these black belts. And no, I'm not a black belt in jujitsu. Hopefully I'll be a purple belt soon. This is a very versatile belt that can be used for all different things. And what's cool is I actually had talked to Aaron from Grip Genie about making these, and here it is. So, it's cool that I had a part in making a piece of equipment that is sold by Grip Genie. I don't get any commission or anything like that. Uh, they're just my friends and I love them as people and friends. And I like to come up with ideas that can benefit everybody. So here it is. You've probably seen like arm wrestlers and stuff use these for all different reasons or whether they're, you know, kind of using it for supination or pronation exercises or they're using it with cables or all sorts of weird contraptions. Uh, but what got me, you know, doing this was I used to use ropes right for like uh you know standing rope curls and stuff like that or even like push downs all different exercises but it just has a different kind of grip than your typical you know attachments that you would use and i've also seen you know arm wrestlers using those thinner straps right for different supination pronation stuff um like De uh, devin larrett and some other big time arm wrestlers so i was like dude you guys are in the grip space like let's get some of these and I was actually using my old white belt from jujitsu to do a lot of this stuff. But now it's really cool because I have the illusion that I am a black belt and I'm not. And it makes me feel good when I use it. Check them out. They should be on the website if you guys want to purchase them. Um, but, you know, I've been using them for all different stuff. I'll probably use it today and we'll have some fun with it. So very cool. Second thing, I got one of these dope Reaper banners. Is that the right way? And then I got the shape grip implements very cool so i'll probably play around with these today i have so many grip genie implements and in the future i'm going to have a really cool you know wall of grip uh that i'm going to build along with other things so yeah just play with them today but that's it but yeah birthday was sunday I turned 31 started this channel when i was 19 or 20 so i've been doing the youtube thing for a while and man has it been a journey so it's cool to reflect on what I look like, what I was doing, how I was talking back then and kind of where things are at now. And for those of you that have been along for the ride, I'm just really grateful. This has been a really awesome chapter. You know, we had some speed bumps and how to go through that stuff. For now, it seems like things are just really taking off. Let's just have some fun. We'll catch up. All right, so just going to warm up a little bit. You guys have seen me do this exercise before. Got it from my buddy El Stanko. And uh, really love using this for just warming up the forearm, a little bit of grip because you obviously have to, you know, crush the PVC. But I'll do 20 to 30 each way, and as I warm up, I get a little bit faster, add a little bit more force and torque when I'm going back and forth. Uh, but you guys get the gist. So we'll do some of these. I actually got a Grip Genie gripper just to kind of warm up my palms a little bit. And then I just want to play with some of these new implements. Uh, in terms of training today, it's technically an off day, but I'll do some grip work, you know, some forearm work, uh, probably get some cardio in, and then I got to head to work. And uh, we actually changed our training schedule because what we noticed was typically we train Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then on the weekend. 
And Monday and Wednesday were our really big heavy days, a lot of arousal. So we got deadlifts on Monday and then squats on Wednesday, uh, intermixed with some pressing and stuff like that. But uh, Jordan gets done work around 4.30. We don't really start training until about 5, 5.15. And what we notice is, you know, we're just mentally pretty fried from the day. And honestly, physically, you know, our bodies are just kind of tired. So I was like, you know, why don't we restructure the program a bit? Because on the weekends, we have a lot of time. We can warm up, we can get food in our belly before we train, etc. So now our training week starts Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, and then we train Wednesday. And then Friday is kind of just like a fun uh, athletic day, per se. Uh, but sometimes it's just simple tweaks like that that help you get more motivated to train, uh, make it more enjoyable. And a lot of people stick with like a standard week, but sometimes you gotta be a little bit creative. So that's kind of what we have going on. So this is gonna be more like a feeder workout just to, you know, okay. Just to do that, but um, just getting a little bit of grip action in. I just start with like half grips. So I'm doing this, just like little guys. Actually, when I drive, I do this a lot, especially if I weighted jujitsu. So I'll just get some little clamps in here until I'm pretty warmed up. Cause usually the first time I do this, man, my knuckles and everything kind of ache a little bit and they crack. So just some mini ones. I'll go back and forth, maybe like two or three sets, just pumping them out, letting the hands know we're getting some blood flow to these babies. Wake up. It's time to wake your little hands up here, big guy. I just said little hands, big guy, little hands, big guy. Ah, what brings you here, little hands, big guy? Can I assist you with some grip? That was my best Deckard Kane from Diablo uh, impersonation. So if you guys are Diablo fans, and back in the day, I'm talking like PC, Diablo 1, Diablo 2, Lord of Destruction. Woo! We had some fun times back in the day. All right, so you guys get the gist. I'm going to go kind of go back and forth. Just warm the hands up and we'll keep this video a little bit shorter, hopefully. I'm just gonna get ready to play with some grip stuff, having some fun, and we'll just keep kind of updating you with what has happened in the last few days because it's been a lot. It's been a lot and I'm really excited. What would you guys use? We got the square, we got the sphere, and then a, is this a, how many is this? This is a pentagon, I believe so, All right? One, two, three, four, five, pentagon like the government building in the United States. That's very corrupt. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, or am I? But I think I'm actually gonna roll with the spear because uh, it's gonna give me a little bit more like a crush grip versus the other ones are very finger pinch heavy. So we'll start off with, uh, with this bad boy, get a loading pin out, see how things go. Uh, Got a 25 pounder on there. Very easy. Alright, I'm gonna definitely load her up. So I'll just keep throwing. I don't know, maybe 25s or 45s. The issue is when you have a 25, you can stand closer and it's a little bit easier. Once you have the 45, you gotta have like this like wider base. So honestly, this is a great instance where 35 iron plates make a lot of sense for grip stuff. Uh, but obviously we gotta do with what we got. All right, so now we get 100 on there. Now, I guess there's two ways you can do it. So there's this, the standard, just grabbing it, you know, with like a C grip here, straight up, right? And then I think it's easier, but you almost make like a spot hand and put it on either end of the carabiner and then you can pull it up that way. That to me is a lot stronger and easier. Today I wanna to focus mainly on just the C clamp grip I think we're at uh, 100 pounds right now. So 
Throw another 25 on. We'll go 125. See how that goes. 150. I did 125, felt pretty good. Try to just move it over here. All right, so C-clamp. I do have chalk. Nice. All right, I think when I used the peach grip, I had uh, my buddy Reagan over. I wanna say we were around 200 pounds. So that's 150, I'll bump up 175, and we'll take a, take a gander at that. All right, so before I try to do 175, big news. All right, so Friday, I got engaged. So I proposed to Jordan, she said yes. It was awesome. I thought that she knew it was coming. She had no idea. And the way I went about it was pretty hilarious, and you guys will find it funny, is she thought I was making a YouTube video. So I told her early in the day that Eric Bugenhagen wanted to do a collaboration and fly me out uh, in a couple weeks, and we were gonna do you know, a trailer or a teaser for the collaboration, kind of like I did in the video a few years ago, a uh, message to the Boogs, and I was like, we're gonna do an 80s style, I'm gonna get super hype, I'm gonna call them out, I'm gonna rip my shirt, all sorts of stuff. So she was really excited. So I kind of told her about the video as the day went on. So when she got home, she thought that's what we were filming. So I went out, got an 80s kind of like business outfit, and I got a boom box, all that kind of stuff. But she had no idea that it was gonna be for her. So we get ready for the video. I rehearsed my lines and I did some mess ups on purpose as I normally would do. And then I kind of went right into the proposal and I had my cue cards and the one cue card says, uh, hopefully you thought this was for YouTube. And then I throw it and then it says, but it's actually a proposal. So then I went into the proposal, you know, which was really cool. And then the whole time she was actually filming me. She was so locked in thinking that it was still a video, like in shock. Uh, and then it finally hit her and she started shaking and tearing up and was totally caught off guard. So really, 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 really cool. Very excited for that new chapter and, you know, future wife, man. I got future, future J-Dog, Honey Boo Baby is now going to be my forever. So, man, very cool. Uh, so it was exciting. And then, like I said, my birthday was Sunday and then her birthday was actually yesterday. So we turned a basic winter month here in PA uh, into something really special. So that was really cool. Uh, so I'm gonna do 175 in honor of my future fiance. All right, better not screw this up because I just said it was for my fiance. And I know she watches these. Yes, baby, I love you. Okay, I was way heavier than I thought. felt stronger than my right arm. I did have jujitsu yesterday, so hopefully that's why, but that's 175. I'll try 200, I don't know if it's there. I'm feeling pretty beat up today. Ugh, I chalk my balls. Chalk my badge. All right, so I'm gonna do a superset. I'm actually gonna use the Pentagon here. Some lighter weight just to work on a little bit of pinch grip. And then just wanted to use my black belt to submit this pink kettlebell. Basically get a little bit of forearm action in here. This is great if you guys are into arm wrestling, wanna build your forearms or jujitsu. So I just, 
prop my elbow on my thigh here, and then we're just going to basically just, uh, what would that be, pronate up. So we go from supination to pronation, trying to get that good stretch. That's really working that forearm. This is really light, but I want to make sure I'm primed. If you guys have elbow tendonitis or elbow pain, and this is making the pain worse, obviously find a substitution or something else that doesn't hurt it. But if it doesn't, I find if you properly structure your grip training in, it will only help strengthen your elbows, forearms, and mitigate tendonitis as long as you don't overdo it. Typically overdoing it is what causes the tendonitis but if we can find that happy medium to strengthen the tendons, then it will only make everything better. So just working this, I really feel it right there and a little bit kind of on the top of the forearm. So a fun story, this is actually the first kettlebell I ever bought in my entire life. I think I was 18 years old. I was getting into personal training slash fitness. And uh, my dad, who was actually really cool uh, you know, and supportive of me, took me to Marshalls, which is essentially like a TJ Maxx or Ross, so a cheaper store. And he gave me money to you know, buy a little setup. So I remember I got this. I got some bands. I got like a little uh, kind of like slam ball some dumbbells, and then I also got a, uh, a little speaker I could hook my iPod up to if I was training myself or other people. So this is Baby Pink. Obviously, it's uh, not the most masculine, or is it, right? Is pink, do real men wear pink? I'm not really sure, but I am sure that I'm never gonna get rid of this kettlebell because it's a reminder of where I came from. So I will upgrade to a heavier one, this is a 15. That right there is a 25, and then we'll do some uh, hexagon picks. Hopefully I can pick it up. Yep. So it's just gonna work. Pinch grip. And this is super challenging if you just get the edges with your fingers. I'm already slipping, I need some chalk. Yeah, I definitely need chalk. Are you with this in? Yep, we need chalk, guys. We need chalk, that's embarrassing. Let's, uh, let's just saute this a little bit. Don't want to overdo it, but definitely will help. All right, so we got a little saute de la chalk. Boom. Oh man, this is definitely a weird grip. I like it. Ugh. Remember guys, if you want to be part of the Sausage Finger Army, this is the channel to do it. Just go back and forth. Really just work in the hands. Alright, so with these, I'm just doing about three sets, and I'll do around 12 to 15 reps for the belt, supination, pronation, kind of a little bit of radial and ulnar deviation, which I like. You can pick and choose, you know, which muscle pattern or movement you want to work with. I like kind of doing a mixture of both. And then same thing with the picks, I'll probably do like six to seven or six to eight maybe picks per hand. Uh, and this is just like another short feeder workout, right? I like the feeder workouts because I can throw them in during the week when I feel recovered uh, and they take less than an hour, right? So I'm actually gonna do my cardio after this and then be able to get to work. Uh, so it still kind of scratches that itch of wanting to get some training in, still making progress, and I don't have to worry about having, you know, at least an hour and a half to two hours to train. Uh, so that's why it's like if you guys have certain muscle groups or lagging muscle groups that you want to work on, throw in feeder workouts, right? If you want to bring up your shoulders, maybe throw one or two shoulder uh, sessions in throughout the week. Keep it 30, you know, 30 minutes or so. Just bang out, you know, two to three exercises uh, and move on with your day. Like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, we will be heading to the Arnold. We'll get there Wednesday. I'm looking to possibly go to Elite FTS or another gym uh, Wednesday night and Thursday to get some training in. And then we'll be at the Arnold Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll come home Monday. So 
If you guys find the Grip Genie booth, come over, say hi, try some of these products out. Love just meeting you guys catching up. Uh, and on top of that, if I'm just walking around, you know, don't be a stranger. I love to just connect with the people uh, that watch and support the channel. Uh, but outside of that, I know I've talked about Barn de la Soul. So we actually had found a property and we actually are getting a house. So we're moving into a house and, oh, got a booger. There is land, so I'm gonna build a barn gym and I'm, I'm thinking about building it myself. I'm not sure yet. I think that'd be a fun project for me to kind of get my hands dirty and actually create the barn gym myself. Uh, but we'll see, and if not, you know, I'm going to be doing all sorts of other stuff and documenting the whole process. But really excited to finally have a legit setup with all my equipment, be able to use it for recording, uh, and it's just going to be great. So, like I said, a lot of really good things have been happening, you know, outside of having a little bit of a knee tweak. It's, it's been great. Uh, and I'm just really grateful for your guys' support and just being able to be alone for the ride. Let's get some picks here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, Struggling, I'm struggling. So with this one, guys, I'm trying to grab it almost like like that, if you can see if it's focusing. And when I do that, I actually feel it um, like between my fingertips, which is a new one, because you have to squeeze and almost like squeeze those fingertips together also to get a good grip. Now, obviously, one of the easier ones is gonna be to just kind of grab it like that, like a C, uh, C grip. And obviously, if you get your fingers underneath this, it's gonna be the easiest. So, you know, going like this is gonna be purely pinch. Uh, pinch grip is very challenging, but, you know, getting a little bit of a forearm pump, you know, nothing too crazy. I don't wanna over fatigue my forearm, especially with jujitsu, um, but I do like, you know, getting that extra work in via the feeder workout and trying out the products that Grip Genie sent me. So, uh, fun stuff. All right guys, that's the video. I'm not gonna make this one a super long one and it wasn't anything super exciting, but hopefully I can edit it and keep it pretty short so you guys can just take the ideas, use them, kind of just a catch up video. Have some more videos planned out in the future and especially with the Arnold, I'll try to be doing as much vlogging as I can, you know, while we're there or when we go to gyms and we train. Uh, but I wanna stay consistent with you guys. You guys mean the absolute world to me and I just appreciate your guys' support so much. So. Give the training or the feeder workout a shot. Watch the other videos uh, from the channel if you want to see how my training's been going. I'll give you guys more of an update probably you know next week on what the training plan is looking like moving forward and why and how we're structuring it that way. Uh, and I got some other training videos, and then I'll probably intermix some shorter tip videos, uh, but also the long form content. And then I got things set up I think uh, for the live streams, which have been a little bit delayed. But like I said, we had. The proposal, we had my birthday, Jordan's birthday, uh, just a lot going on trying to celebrate all that. So took a little bit of a break, uh, but still have stuff in the queue and we'll put it out there. But until then guys, stay a lean, mean, strength, health machine. I'll catch you with you next time. Peace. Oh, and if you want to help monetize anything with the channel, all the links are down below in the description. Thank you.